Hi guys, so we just recorded all the food, my pot pies, I have my lasagna with extra cheese, my meatballs with extra cheese, my uh, dog bread, sorry guys, and my Mardi Gras uh, uh, cake, and then here's the dog bread. This is like a monk bong taster, my drink will be a beer, <laughs> or IPA. And I'm also going to add some sour cream to my food. So we'll start by getting the chicken on the plate. I will promise you this, I'm not going to eat all the food. So I like to call these like a mung bong taster because I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not eating all of this food, okay? I'm going to be tasting it. And... I know when I watch Mong Dongs, I love the tastings. I'm just kind of seeing how the food is and hearing all the bites and crunches and just seeing how good the food is. And I've honestly got this idea from another mom bogger. And people are very picky. When you're skinny, they're like, girl, eat all the food. When you're fat, they're like, you're eating too much food. And I've been <laughs> judgmental like that before. And at the end of the day, it's our preference right so we're going to do a mukbang and we're going to enjoy the food and i'm very excited so we'll start off by getting a piece of garlic bread from our garlic bread loaf i've gotten this loaf from my local um italian pizza place mm-hmm oh god mm -mm -mm. It is always so good. Mm -hmm. So garlicky, garlic y and amazing. I've had their um spaghetti before, but I wanted to try their garlic the um lasagna. And for some reason they were out of spaghetti tonight. Look at that steam. You see the steam? Hopefully you see it. Mmm. And um they seem to be out of spaghetti tonight. And they had just lasagna. So I'm like, well, I want to try it anyway. So I got this with extra um mm. Mm. I got this with extra meatballs. I put extra cheese in there. So I also have extra mozzarella cheese in my, hmm, inside of my, um, lasagna. Mm-hmm. So, mm, 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 mm. When you're in a time place, I just love bread that's like, mm. I'm not sure you can see it. it has this much butter and garlic on it. It is legit. Mm hmm Sour cream. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That hot bread has so much butter on it. And house meat garlic. It is ridiculous. And this is so good. Oh my god. So 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 yummy. Mm-hmm. But this is a lot of food, and most people can eat all this, like Nick Avocado or the Fat Hungry Lady, but mm, even with her, she never finishes it, and she eats way too slow for me. If you want me to eat this faster, click in the... Your right left hand corner, and it says normal for speed. I mean, faster you can do one, 1.5, 2.5, and she eats so slow. I do her on two, two, and it's still slow. Mmm, Popeyes. Mmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Now, mmm. 
just put the girl to give me chicken right out of the fryer. Mm -hmm. I'm on a cheat weekend. So I'm numb. I do not eat like this all the time. So my, my flip flop fell off. I do a ketogenic diet. And this goes far against it. But I had a retirement party this weekend and I worked hard all week. Did keto. I literally, I literally lost like 10 pounds in five days. Mmm. How, how? Okay. It's been a very strict. Mm. This is the lasagna. I did a very strict keto diet. I did my keto shake from GNC twice a day. And I did a very huge keto brunch. So. My keto brunch, I would have cream cheese pancakes, um, sausage, maybe bacon, uh, tuna fish wraps with like lettuce, cheese, tuna fish with you know full fat cheeses, mayonnaise, mm. and for lunch I would do my keto shake. You can get it from GNC. And then I would do my keto shake. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was a good prep. Mm. I didn't want to fall apart. So, mm hmm. You have to be careful with the keto shake though from GNC. When I say consume slowly, they mean that your stomach will be hurting you. You have to use the bathroom. And you'll be in pain and you're drinking too fast. So, sour cream, meatball. Mmm. Mm hmm. Um. But by day three, um, I had steak for dinner with green beans, sauteed mushrooms. Mm. At the steakhouse because I was so backed up from the shake. It's like full of um, MCTs and coconut oil. But, mm. my idea extra was that I bought MCT oil from Walmart in the diet section. And I put a tablespoon in for each scoop. I have two scoops for lunch. With two tablespoons of MCT oil. And I would have one scoop for dinner with one tablespoon of MCT oil. That is how I lost 10 pounds in five days. Mm. And yes, you're not supposed to have bread. I had a retirement dinner. So yeah, I'm eating bread. And so tonight, it's my last night until I go back to uh, keto. And so, whenever eating bread doesn't set you all the way back, or pasta. Mm. Oh my god. This is amazing. Mm, mm, mm.
the designer. So I have a pizza place here that makes everything homemade. More sour cream. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And... It makes me sauce for their pasta. And... Most people hate the sweet sauce, but I love it. Mm-hmm. Well, those onions. And I got extra cheese in mine, and I put more cheese on top. Mm. Mm-hmm. It looks like I'm almost out of footage, footage for this video. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this will be a teaser. Let me know if you enjoyed me doing a taste bong, not a full mug bong. And I can do more. Let's try the Mardi Gras cheesecake from Popeyes. And we'll do a story time. What do you want to talk about? Skincare, relationships. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. That is some fatty ass good rich cheesecake. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It looks like I have about actually I do have 20 minutes on here for this. Oh my god. This is so good. Oh shit. I almost dropped Look, my, my my backup camera has cheesecake on it. <laughs> Is that weird? Mmm. <laughs> so, this is so amazing. I love cheat days. I'm cheating like hell. This food, in general, would last me for probably a week. Lasagna and, and um, sour cream. Mmm, 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 mmm. Why? Am I such a white eater? I can barely eat the rest of this. Mmm. I'm so. I'm tapping my leg. Mm. 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 I'm sorry, I'm quiet. It's so good. It's so good. Cheers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. Mm. I watched The Hungry White Chick um, on YouTube. She's called The Hungry Fat White Chick or Hungry White Chick. And usually when she's eating, She's quiet. I'm like, girl, talk. Um, I think she got a lot of criticism for not talking much. And I don't know why. And you have amazing food. It's hard. Like I said, you can speed me up. But I'm talking too slow. But this damn food is dope. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. People who can talk. Well, like, I still have some here. Mm. They practice. Okay, this shit is so good. There's no way you can talk. Chicken. What's the feta crunch? Mm, 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 mm. 
This might not be the good or the best first mug bong of mine. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's hard salt, guys. Oh my god. I was gonna tell a ghost story, but mm -mm. I live alone, so I'm not afraid, but mm, I don't feel comfortable. Hmm. Question. How about this? I have a question for you guys. Hmm. Maybe this is boring. But if you had a friend on Facebook, right? That kept unfriending you whenever you didn't respond to her or him right away, would you never accept their friend request again? Mmm. That's good. Alright. Hmm. I didn't cut this up. It's already been cut up. Mm, 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 mm. Popeye's chair is really good. Um, that's awesome. Mmm. A homemade pizza place here. Where they have a sweet sauce. As you can see, it's in here. And the meatballs. And it's sweet. I like sweet sauces. And you guys might like something tangy. Um. But they are amazing. Are you guys into the, like the Illuminati stories? Do you would you prefer to hear an Illuminati experience? Mm. I have one. Mm. All right, let's do story time. So, maybe six years ago, I was pursuing a modeling career for a few years. I was also in college. Mm, you can get full guys. And, um, mom bongs are always about finishing all this. Unless you want to gain like 50 pounds every week. And I heard that people were selling their soul, you know, to the devil for contracts. I'm a Christian, born and raised my whole life. And so I'm like, okay, I was dating a guy at the time, six years ago, he was a musician. And I was like, boom, oh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to sell my soul. I should listen. If you want to go to hell, go ahead. Good luck. So, I wanted to test the theory. Yes, as a Christian, I, I tested the theory. I see if the Illuminati thing was real or at least some type of fake crap or gimmick. Of course, as a Christian, I believe in hell and fallen angels and stuff like that. So one night, I'm in my car. I already have a creepy vibe. Oh my god, tell the story. Anyways. I'm completely by myself. It's maybe 9.30 at night, maybe 10 o'clock. I broke up with my boyfriend at the time. I'm sitting at the mall. And I said, okay, well, let's see if this stuff is real. So I said, I said out loud in my car by myself in the middle of a parking lot. A mall parking lot that's empty. <laughs> I said, Lucifer, this whole Illuminati thing is real. And you're really giving people contracts for rich and famous, become rich and famous. Then give me a contract. Um, fast forward three months later, 
I'm at my, my parents' house, and I had left my boyfriend at the time. He's my fiance, and um, I started applying for modeling gigs on backstage. And backstage is very legit. My aunt was a model and singer, and she applied for a lot of gigs in backstage. And back in the day, backstage was only in the newspaper, so it wasn't even online yet. But at that time, it was online uh, six years ago. And then when I applied for this one modeling gig, I got an email from the company. I knew nothing, absolutely nothing about Baphomet heads at that time. And on their website, they had an entryway with two men standing there with Baphomet heads on. I'm like, hmm, I know about it, but I knew that it didn't seem normal. And the contract listed a lot of weird things. And I'm like, it, the, the enemy couldn't be this blatant to put out this kind of stuff in a contract. Like, it was talking about you had to be comfortable being naked in front of people. You had to partake, partake in rituals and... I'm like, nah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be this blatant, right? And so I'm like, this isn't real. And then the guy who sent me the contract started telling me personal things about my life, about my ex-boyfriend's life, that even my own mom didn't know. And um not like horrible things, just things about school or what I was up to. And then the thing that blew my mind was when he said the name to a modeling agency that I wanted to start with my ex-boyfriend. He said the name of the modeling agency. And the only people who knew, who knew about it was me and my ex-boyfriend. 